The Las Vegas Raiders have officially hired an offensive line coach, and today we're going to talk about it. James Craig was with the 49ers the past couple of seasons as an assistant offensive line coach, and this is a great freaking hire for the Raiders. You know, when you look at the Las Vegas Raiders offensive line over the past uh, couple of seasons, I feel like it's gotten a little bit worse than we were at maybe like six or seven years ago. Uh, we did start a rebuild in which we got rid of guys like Rodney Hudson and Gabe Jackson, uh, and we tried getting cheaper, you know, Clutchio Semley and Donald Penn, although Donald Penn got a little old. But we kind of started this rebuild, and we got a couple of pretty good pieces and guys like Colton Miller. Andre James was kind of a gem at that point. Uh, and we had a couple other pieces, but it never really just worked out. And I feel like under Carmen Brasillo, we kind of got worse and worse over the past two seasons. In his first season, it was okay, right? It was a new scheme. Teams really didn't know what Josh McDaniels was gonna come, was gonna do as he came here. Um, but once teams kind of figured it out, the Raiders offensive line really took a step back in year two. And more than that, we really struggled on the offensive line this past season. And a big part of that was I think development really wasn't there for the Raiders. Now the Raiders hired James Craig, who for the past two seasons has been an assistant to Chris Forrester, who is a very, very good offensive line coach with the 49ers. Uh, more than that, Forrester is the run game coordinator for Kyle Shanahan, and he's been with Shanahan for a number of years. He's followed him from being on the, the famous 2013 Washington Redskins uh, coaching staff, right, being one of the coaches on that staff, to following him throughout his career and just kind of going with him wherever he ended up going. Uh, Forrester is a great coach, right? And we got a coach that's actually worked with Forrester over the past two seasons. So my hope is this, that James Craig can come to the Raiders and hopefully help the Raiders. Now, uh, one of the things I've seen a lot on social media is that an offensive line coach is going to come in and it's his responsibility to, you know, oh, we're going to run a zone scheme or a gap scheme. We're going to do this on, in certain pass pro situations and those type of things. That's not actually true at all. Um, when it comes to the, the run scheme specifically, that's more so on the head coach or the play caller, right? In this case, our offense coordinators are play caller. So that's more so on, on him to really be able to come in and say, this is what we're going to do as we kind of attack. Now, it is up to the offensive line coach to, to take that and then be able to install it. And I think that's going to be the interesting thing with James Craig, because although he was an assistant with the 49ers, prior to that, he was the offensive line coach of LSU. Uh, he worked with uh, the Broncos, the Chargers, uh, USC, and he even spent some time with the Oakland Raiders back in 2007, 2008. So he's, he, you know, he's not necessarily not familiar with the Raiders as an organization. Um, I think this is a great hire for the Raiders. Now, just kind of talking it through, you know, again, this guy's not, you know, he was not 100% in, in charge of the 49ers development, but the 49ers have a pretty good offensive line. Uh, some people will say their offensive line is not very good, but you do got to keep in mind, you know, teams kind of construct their rosters differently. Uh, the Chiefs, on one hand, may say, let's go all in and spend a ton of money on our left guard center, right guard, right tackle. Uh, even their left tackle is pretty good of the Chiefs. And they'll say, let's just invest on the offensive line and not in our weapons. Right? We'll pay a quarterback. We'll build an offensive line. We'll have average weapons. And it works for the Chiefs. The 49ers may say, let's not really put money into the offensive line. Instead, let's go out and pay all these weapons. And it's, you know, it's work for them as well. Right. So for the 49ers, the way they kind of plan and how they kind of attack the offensive line position is uh, they prefer to try to get guys to draft and develop certain guys. Uh, the Niners starting right tackle at the moment, Colton McKibbitz, is a guy that is a young player that they ended up drafting and developing. They're right guard. Uh, although John Flintiano has came in and out with uh, the other right guard that they ultimately drafted last season, the fourth round, Spencer Burford. They've kind of went back and forth, but Burford's going to be the long-term starter as he develops more and he gets a little bit better. He was a fourth-round pick. Uh, their center is, I believe, a veteran center that came from a different team. He's a pretty good football player. And their left guard is a player they drafted in the second round about three years back in Aaron Banks, who's a really, really good left guard. Of course, everybody knows Trent Williams. But the point in what I'm making is three of the five offensive linemen for the 49ers were, you know, second or a late round draft pick, second round pick or a late round draft pick. And it was up to guys like James Craig, as well as some other guys, right? Chris Forrester's part of that as well. A couple other people as well, but it was their responsibility to really develop these players. And I think for the Raiders, one of the things we've missed this past season was development. 
I think Andre James got a lot worse, and I think most people agree the Raiders need to either move on or, you know, maybe have him and Dylan Parham kind of compete and see if Parham can just kind of take the job from him. Uh, I think the smart thing would be for the Raiders to just possibly move on from Andre James. But it's not even just James. Like, Dylan Parham really didn't take that year to a leap. And then our right guard, right tackle position, we really don't have a plan, right? Like, you can make the argument the Raiders' offensive line is kind of a mess. So having a guy like James Craig could possibly help the Raiders. You know, you're not going to get a top five offensive line in one year through the draft, but you could get pieces that over time can develop into starting players. All right, I'm not 100% out on Thayer Munford, but there's a chance that he can continue to develop and he can possibly have success in the NFL. Dylan Parham's about to enter year three. I think a good coach can get more out of Dylan Parham. And I think to take it a step even further than that, you know, it's not just about development. Sometimes you need a coach to kind of come in there and, and tell these guys, you know, your technique of how you're blocking this may not be the best way. Uh, Carmen Brasillo really didn't have a ton of experience. And obviously the Raiders, you know, hired him at that point. Uh, he was really a first time guy with the Patriots. And even then the Patriots offensive line coach retired. You know, he had already put this scheme and system in and Brasillo just kind of managed it for about a year and a half. And the Raiders ended up hiring him and he, you know, he was, he was an okay coach, but, it, you know, it really never worked out for the Raiders. And the Raiders ended up allowing him to kind of walk, right? I think Brasilla would have been fired at the end of this, you know, before the start of next season, but at the end of last season, I think he would have been fired regardless if the Giants did not hire him. Uh, I think James Craig's an interesting offensive line coach. I'd make the argument the Raiders have to revamp that offensive line. You know, kind of like the 49ers, the Raiders have put a lot of money into their weapons. Devontae Adams, Jacoby Myers, we've invested a first round pick, I'm sorry, a second round pick in uh, a tight end. We invested in a high pick as well in Trey Tucker. Those are guys that you expect a lot to kind of produce, right? And more so than that, they're going to get paid one day down the line. To me, it feels like the Raiders are going to continue to put money into the the weapons, which means through the offensive line, you you may have to draft guys and, and develop guys, right? So it's going to be very interesting as we kind of go forward. Uh, I think this is a good hire, but we'll see what actually ends up happening. A lot of the Raiders success this season is going to rely on Luke Getze, right? I think Antonio Pierce has already shown me that the guy knows what he's doing. He fires people up. He's obviously a good coach and he's kind of shown that, but it's going to be up to the offense to match what the defense did this past season. And we'll see if the Raiders can ultimately have success. We've heard a lot of rumors about the Raiders targeting a quarterback. Jaden Daniels, JJ McCarthy is another guy that's been gaining a little bit of traction. Uh, we'll see if it actually ultimately works for the Raiders. Uh, I'm excited for it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with another video.